Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, since it is Independence Day, I'll be doing a review or a retro review for National Treasure from 2004. Uh, this movie is rated PG at a runtime of 2 hours and 11 minutes. You can watch it on Disney+. Plus. Uh, as of the recording of this video, it has a Rotten Tomato score of 46% from the critics. That is so low. 76% from the audience. That also feels low. This movie is so much fun. Uh, let me give you a quick synopsis. In this movie, historian and codebreaker Ben Gates has been searching his whole life for a rumored treasure dating back to the creation of the United States. Joining an expedition led by fellow treasure hunter Ian Howe, Gates finds an ice-locked colonial ship in the Arctic Circle that contains a clue linking to the treasure of the Declaration of Independence. But when Howe betrays him, Gates has to race to get to the document ahead of his so-called colleague and steal the Declaration of Independence. This movie is directed by John Turtletaub, who also directed The Meg, uh, and it stars Nicolas Cage as Benjamin Franklin Gates, Diane Kruger as Abigail Chase, Justin Bartha as Riley Poole, Sean Bean as Ian Howe, John Voight as Patrick Gates, who's uh, Nicolas Cage's dad, and Harvey Keitel as FBI agent Sadusky. Um, Look, I I went back. I wanted to do a video for Independence Day, but I didn't want to do anything that was like super military or maybe even colonial times. I wanted something that was just fun. And, you know, what is more fun than stealing the Declaration of Independence? Uh, National Treasure just is a relentless high energy adventure that rarely gives a chance to catch and take a take a break uh the film has a breakneck pace that is evident from the beginning as it swiftly sets the stage and plunges into the world of historical secrets and daring exploits uh this rapid storytelling just is very engaging uh and we're kind of swept along on the trip with benjamin franklin gates which is one of the most ridiculous names in movie history uh, i think one of the strengths of uh this film is just the cast of characters, right? I think Nicolas Cage embodies the role of what you would want in a character like Benjamin Franklin Gates. Uh, over the top, super charismatic, very much with a lot of eccentric, eccentric flair and just like that high energy. Um, his performance just strikes a fine balance between seriousness, lightheartedness, also very much so you can, he really has this, uh, well, his character has really has this love for the the history of everything. I think that's really cool. That's really important, especially after having watched all the Indiana Jones films. Uh, one of the things about those films, the series of films, is how much Indiana Jones cared about the artifacts. And I think in this case, uh, that's something that the movie also really captured very well, right? Nicolas Cage was never in it for the fame or the glory. Uh, he wanted to prove his family's... Uh, name was uh you know worth it uh and also that he wanted to recover all these treasures for uh the betterment of society overall uh diane kruger uh, also plays very well off against um uh, cage as abigail chase a skilled archivist who becomes essential uh to the plot also justin bartha as riley just pro providing not only a tech savvy sidekick but also comedic relief all throughout the film they just have a really great chemistry. Uh, also, I think having Sean Bean as your, uh, you know, as your antagonist, as your villain, uh, just seems very much a role that really befits him. So uh, at the heart of this film, it's really the mystery that intertwines uh, real historical events and legend, right? I think they do a really good job of uh, making sure that we believe that all these things can could have been happening, could have been real. Uh, so it's a really interesting uh, navigation as we kind of go uh, in this quest to uncover these hidden secrets, unlock the treasures of the past, uh, and decipher ancient riddle, uh, riddles that overall make sense if you are any in any way you know familiar with some of the subject matter. Now, <clears throat> while the film embraces a certain level of escapism and adventure, it occasionally ventures into the over-the-top territory. I think some of the plot developments and action sequences may stretch the boundaries of possibility, so you definitely want to check that at the door. Uh, and these elaborate heists and daring escapes, the film embraces just a larger-than-life approach because 
the subject matter is like just the fact that they're stealing the Declaration of Independence as the opening act is already way over the top, right? Uh, I will say one of the things that I did notice here, uh, the pace kind of comes to a complete halt uh, towards the end of the film with the FBI and, and, and everybody gets kind of split up. I feel like the strength of the film is when everybody's closer. It's really together. Uh, so that definitely took a lot of the momentum that we were building throughout the film and kind of put it in a rush. But then once we get back into the pace and the puzzle kind of comes back together, uh, I think it still makes for a compelling finish. Uh, you know, I think maybe the film could have been a, a little bit shorter, but overall, like it just found the narrative back up again and ends up with, with some of that. So it was a little clunky, a little convoluted towards the climax of the film, which is not the place you want to be convoluted, right? Uh, so I can see how some of the critics would definitely um, put put out a few, a few marks on that. But overall, this is just a fun film. This is classic popcorn stuff. Uh, there's a reason they made another one of these. Uh, so yeah, highly, highly enjoy this. A uh, rewatch during the holiday. This is probably going to become one of my staples uh, when we do like Independence Day and something like that. I think that'll be real fun. Uh, so uh, if you're still celebrating, uh, maybe you could put this on. Uh, if not, you can also go back. Uh, my friend Lego did a whole uh, breakdown and it just kind of in a big, big video stream on uh, on the Rob Fishback Network where. Uh, not only National Treasure, but also uh, the sequel. Just encompass like they talked about everything that for those two movies uh, for the Cage Unleashed podcast. So it's really really fun stuff. I'll put a link down in the description so you can go check that out as well. Uh, that was really fun to kind of I had after having just uh, watched that and then going into the film with all a little bit of that those extra facts and knowledge and all that stuff. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, very excited, uh, to have watched this and I kind of want to watch the next one, uh, but I'll probably save that for, uh, another holiday maybe. Uh, so, uh, as always, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>